Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I uh, thought I'd do another quick video. I'm trying to ease myself back into doing this. And I had said that I thought I was gonna focus primarily on Sensi coming up um, because I'm gonna work on using quite a bit of my Sensi. And instead of trying to incorporate everything, I may from time to time talk about, um, I'm not gonna say any, vendor orders I'm gonna pick up unless it's in April when it's my birthday month and I do something in that month but um, since I'm doing a no buy for 2025 um, except for you know some Sensi because I, I participate in Sensi I'm a consultant I love my Sensi so I'm gonna try to use way more than I pick up like I'm not gonna pick up every little thing that comes out right like I, I will pick up the new spring summer scents that kind of thing but I don't want to pick up a bunch of other things. Um, I may like add them to my club, that kind of thing, and get it through my club. But anyways, um, I wanted to go through the empties that I have for Scentsy from like October and November. Pretty full. It might even have some September in here. And rather than go through all of the scents and tell you ever you know something about all of them, because a lot of them are going to be older scents. Um, I'm going to try to maybe just touch on either ones that I really, really like, or maybe ones that recently came out and just give you my opinions on those. So I'm gonna jump in here and go through this. Uh, let's see, like, okay, this is an older one. Apple S'mores did that. Um, oh, this one I did, yes, these two are combined, um, not combined in the same warmer, but like in the same room and um, I did like the Bon Appetit. Um, I thought that one was nice. Uh, Disney's rat Ratatouille Bon Appetit. And I had a few cubes left from a really old Bring Back My Bar of Tomato Vine. These two did really well together in the, I did them in the living room, which I used to call the dining room. But anyways, um, so Tomato Vine, I, this was one that my husband really, really liked. And when the Ratatouille one came out, the Bon Appetit, I thought, okay, I'm going to mix uh, what I had left of these, both of these in the uh, living room. Wonderful. From the Disney Treats collection, something like that. I'm trying to find some of the ones that I have. I thought I had more than one in here. Uh, well, they might be scattered in here. Anyways, Oh, I think I talked about this one, the Glazed Almond Dreams. I'm, I I think I got another one in my club. I'm, I'm still gonna keep giving this one a try. Well, the next one that I have, I'll try to concentrate on whether or not I really think I'm getting performance from it or that I can smell it. And before I let it come back in my club again. Like I said, it's really, really good scent. It's just that I think my nose may be struggling with really smelling it where some of the other ones I smelled really well. This one is an older one that came in the um, Mardi Gras collection, King Cake. Love that one. That one performs really well for me. Um, from the Holiday Bricks, which I know one of them has sold out I don't remember which one. And I think they're going away at the end of December. So this would be a perfect time to kind of highlight some of the ones. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, I can't remember which one was the fifth one. I'm guessing it's in here. Oh, here it is. Number five. So I had picked them up. Like I hurried up and put them in a a special club when they came out because I did not want to pick up the big bricks unless I liked them so I put all five of them in a club had it delivered and you know waited a little while and then I warmed them so I will say I really really liked salted caramel cider of course I love apple scents and I love the way the apple came out in this one with that salted caramel scent, I, I thought it did really well. I smelled it really well. I really, really liked it. I did pick up, I wound up picking up, um, they had like the two for 40. So I did two different bundles of two for 40. So I wound up picking up four of the five. So I did pick up salted caramel cider. 
I picked up uh, Winter Twilight. I enjoyed that one. I thought it smelled good. I liked it. And I thought for, um, I thought it, I would probably wind up warming it mostly in my bedroom. So I picked up a brick for my bedroom for that. Um, between the ones that I liked, I think there was a toss up the salted caramel cider. Again, I'm an apple lover, so it's kind of hard to you know, surpass my liking of an apple scent. But I really, really enjoyed Wrapped in Lights. I thought that one was really good. <sighs> Although not not from the Brick Collection, I, I think I probably liked Holiday Market more, which I did warm also. So Holiday Market, I think I, I know I put it in my club, but uh, so Wrapped in Lights got that one. And then the fourth brick that I did pick up was Christmas tree. I thought, um, you know, try to use some of it this year at Christmas, if Christmas is cold enough, um, use some of that spread around in, you know, downstairs or maybe even on the landing. And then the one that I, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, but I, I wasn't crazy about it was the butterscotch brittle. It, it did okay. I just wasn't like super crazy about it. So I did not get a brick of that one. So like if they were to put the bricks on sale, let's say in January or February or something, sometimes they never do come back even on sale because if they sell really, really well, then I guess they have no reason to. Um, but if they were to come back, um, I don't know. I don't know that I'd pick up Christmas tree only because I don't have a... a big span of time to do those like a Christmas tree kind of scent and there's other tree scents that I like also like I love uh what is it blue Christmas love that one that one's in my club um so which ones would I pick up again in another brick if it came out I think I would possibly do like if I had to do a, a two bundle again I think I would get wrapped in lights and salted caramel cider I think those would be the two that I would want to get more of after the brick I already got so oh, here's another one from the Disney treats the fruit and hazelnut waffle delight I did um, have that one in my club to get two and once I get um, like I might get two more on the next go round of when it processes again but after that I'll probably change it to one although I probably should have just picked up another I thought about picking up another collection but um, from the collection here is Disney's Mickey Mouse cinnamon bun bash like there's the cinnamon bun bash there's a churro churro um, those two I, I, I like them here's the churro churro so they're okay, but to get like to be able to get two more of the other ones, I don't know that I want to get two more of these. So I haven't decided because I think that's going away at the end of December also. So I may pick up more of the collection, but I don't know. Um, why do I feel like I talked about this already? Unless I did the second one. Maybe I... Maybe some of the ones I've already talked about are in here again. <laughs> I threw them back in the bucket. I don't know. Um, berry apple shortbread. I had said that I, maybe it was my club order that came in. Maybe that's what it was. And um, yeah, I took it out of my club. This is, I believe, the December scent of the month. Snowflakes and sage. I did this one in my bedroom. Loved it loved it i thought it was really good and i was afraid of the sage part gosh it's just really really nice especially for a bedroom it performed really well in my bedroom yeah i um picked up a couple of more of it already and i got it as the kit right so i got the what is it seven bars that we get now so i already had seven bars and i think i got another one or two because i really enjoyed that one then I did cashmere. That's an old one. I'm trying to not to talk too much about the older ones. Um, I did 
Wally. Like we've had some warmer days around here, so I did do some that aren't really winter, like Dumbo Soar High Through the Sky. Picked that one up in the in the clearance or whatever when it was there. Uh, some of these I don't even remember. I don't know. I might have done them upstairs and didn't pay attention, or I just did it to to kind of scent the house, but I didn't necessarily go in that room. So um, this one I did, I know I did in the sunroom when I was working, but on the other side of the room, it's frosted cinnamon roll. It's all right, it's not a favorite for me. This one, I don't, I couldn't tell you anything. I don't remember, sunset sky and strawberry. I may have done it in here and just didn't come in here. Um, gosh, I wish I could remember, reggae sunset? I don't remember. It smells good in the clam. I kind of think, I want to say it was like a middle of the road in terms of how I liked it, right? Like I wasn't opposed, but I wasn't in love with it. It has a, to me, it has a, um, like a, not a bright orange scent, but almost like a deep orange scent. In the clam, I like the way it smells. I'd even get it again if I saw it in clearance at least to try it again and see if I really liked it. Although if it was in clearance, it'd be too late at that point. Ah, this one was a gift from Robin Greer from July of 2023. Thank you again, Robin. I really appreciate it. I held on to this for a while because I really liked this scent. That's Happy New Home. I think it was, was it in the clearance? Was it in a flash sale? I think if I saw it in a flash sale, I think it was maybe either sold out or I don't know, but I didn't, I don't think I got any more of it, but I really enjoyed doing this one. Um, so thanks again, Robin. Uh, Evening Sky, that one had been out, like that one. This is an older one, Plum and White Woods. It had really changed colors, but it still performed wonderfully. I did that one at the top of the stairs. Another one of Snowflakes and Sage, the scent of the month. Beautiful, love it. Sea Sun and Fun, which I think was in the Bring Back, was it Bring Back My Bar the last time in whatever month it comes out, in June, July, whatever. Uh, eh, not really nothing. Uh, Harry Potter, I think this one came in my, um, in my club recently, the Ravenclaw. I already did it, love it. Oh, I think this is, I don't think this was the brick. I thought the other one was the brick and this one, I, see, now I don't even know. Um, and this might've been the holiday collection. Like I said, everything comes out around the same time and I get them so confused. But anyways, this is warm winter night and no clue. kind of hope the other one was the brick because I like the way the other one smell more but I bet you this is the brick and it's it's okay it might have it might have been that it performed better than it smells in the clam I hope that's the case because watch I bet you that is the brick <laughs> I don't have the oh it's still in the box I haven't even pulled it out the box apple spice season I said I really like the way this one uh, performed and it smelled so I had gotten more on one of those days when it got warm again, key lime and grapefruit. I don't even know, I mean, it's not available, so. Uh, I did like this one, it was, I think this was in the catalog for the fall season, a new one, gingerbread pecan waffles. I do like this one, I think this one smells good. I'm gonna pick up more of it when they do the 10% off in the last month of the catalog. Um, had talked about this one being in my club that I got it again my sister had turned me on to watching the movie and Disney's Coco Familia comes first really liked it uh, let's see hollow harvest this one was my favorite on cold sniff when it came out and I think it it did well but it was one of those that I, I thought I enjoyed it while I warmed it but I, with the amount of wax I have, I didn't feel like I needed 10 more of it or, you know, for, for me to get this accumulation of it. So I think I took it out of my club. I'm pretty sure I did. 
Love this one. Old Brain by My Bar. It was uh, a favorite. It was Melon and Apple Granita. And I didn't want to warm it for a while because for me it had to kind of take the place of Dewey or Don't We when I lost that one. Um, but I may have one more in my inventory. From I think this was from the Gordy Goodness Collection. Very Good Pumpkin. I didn't pay attention to this one. Kind of berry like. Can't remember. I think I liked it. I think. But I'm not a huge pumpkin person. So, you know. Uh, I had said that I had warmed this one. I think this is the one that I had from last year. Toasted apple butter. And it just didn't perform well for me. As much as I love apple. It just didn't perform all that well for me. From a warm day, from the, I think it's the soccer collection, the Barcelona Barca. Love that one. Did that one at the top of the stairs. Love it. Um, this was a scent of the month, Blooming Marvelous. And I think it started to perform a little better. Like, I think I had done one when it first came out, when I first got it. And I, I could barely smell it. I, I think I could barely smell it in the clam. Um, I can't smell the clam. Can't really get anything. And I think it may have performed just a little bit better. I think I'm probably going to whatever I have left of it from because I had gotten the kit. Um, so I would have gotten the seven bars. Um, whatever I have left of it, I think I'm going to wind up using in the half bath in the springtime. And hopefully by then it'll be performing well. This was also, was this a scent of the month? Yes, it says scent of the month on it. Hello. Scent of the month <laughs> Christmas cookie. I liked it. Um, I know peop some people like like a cookie scent with a tree. And I think I would be okay with it. But I wasn't as crazy about the tree scent in there. It wasn't, I think it was a little too much pine for me. So if it would have been a little more balsam or something, I think I would have liked it more. Ah, from the Treats Collection, the other one that I really like, that's Candy Apple Delight. Also have two of those in my club. Again, doesn't really do anything for me in the clam, but it performed really well for me. This was, gosh, I think last spring summer catalog. I think it was a new, I think it was a new one, Sunshine Mango. I think I did it in here. Didn't really pay attention. It was one that I thought was pretty good in the spring summer, but you know, I was just using it because it was a warmer day and I didn't want to use fall scents. This was the scent of the month also, Honey Crisp Harvest. I had picked up the kit because loving apple scents, I thought, oh, I have to get the kit, right? And get the, the seven bars. And um, it barely performed for me when it first came out. It's getting a little better. It smells pretty good in the clam. And I think it got a little bit stronger when I warmed it this time, which was probably in November. Um, I think it did a little better. So holding out hope that the rest of the bars will do well. And then the last one in here is the Lord of the Rings Shire Sunrise. And I remember, I think I remember smelling it when it came in and thinking, gosh, I don't think I like it. And I picked up the three because that was like the challenge or whatever for consultants for that month was to get three. I wasn't going to pick up the warmer, so I just got three bars. Um, and I remember smelling it and thinking, oh, I don't think I'm going to like it. I, you know, I wish I hadn't gotten three. But when I warmed it, I want to say I liked it a lot more. Not loved it, not like, oh, I've got to go put some in my club, but thinking, okay, I'm not sad, I'm not sad that I have the other two now. So I liked it, didn't love it, but I liked it. So glad I have two more to enjoy at some other point. So that's it. All they got in here is like a little wallflower thing for a Yankee scent plug or whatever, but other than that, it's empty. So Anyways, that's everything. I got it under 20 minutes. Wow, yay. <laughs> Anyways, I hope to see you back. I'm going to start logging in my December inventory of what I've used and start gathering that in the basket so that I can do another video hopefully soon. And then hopefully in January, I'm going to start with um, where I am at the beginning of 2025 so that I can keep track of 
what my inventory is and kind of keep you informed as to how my progress is going. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll be back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And um, if I don't get back before Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, all that. Uh, But I hope to be back before then. So until next time, enjoy your sense. Enjoy your day. And enjoy that journey. Talk to you later. Bye.